Hey everybody, how's it going? My name is Tori Soros. Welcome back to Sybil. As you can tell, I changed the camera angle because I felt like I was getting a lot of glare off my glasses from the light of my laptop screen. I originally had my external little webcam that I got for Christmas on my laptop, but now I have a thing to prop it up on that's from the side, which seems to be the popular angle. I I'm not sure why other than maybe just because of glare and, and lighting purposes so trying it out it's a new thing uh, leave a comment below if you if you like the camera angle like this if you prefer it where it was or if you have tips for something better um, yeah so here we go back to Sybil maybe maybe not your game okay mmm did I lose the progress I made last time possibly mm. oh I might have cuz I maybe didn't quit at a checkpoint well I'll be back and we're back finally caught back up to where we left off last time. It only took 15 minutes. <laughs> so, as I played again, I've decided I've been a little too hard on Ichi and a little too one-sided in favor of Nina. And I realized I did the same thing when I played Emily is Away because as a girl, it's easier to sympathize with the girl and kind of automatically take that perspective so when I watched after I played Emily's Away when I watched Jack Septic Eye play it he had a really interesting perspective on how it ended that I didn't it didn't even cross my mind like the way he talked about it you know, that wasn't something that was even... I would have not have thought of that on my own. And so it was really interesting to get that perspective. And so I'm trying to be better about how one-sided I can kind of be sometimes. Which any anybody can be guilty of that. Um, and so playing through that part again... I think Ichi's problem is that it's really easy to be an exaggerated version of yourself or try to be someone you're not online because there's no physical confrontation or anything. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Well. Oh, thank God. I was mildly concerned that if she was showing tits, there was going to be something else in this folder I didn't want to see. <laughs> um. <laughs> oh, by the way, uh, it's a today's Sunday, so football's on today. So if you, there might be loud shouting from downstairs because my dad's watching the game, and I think my brother and his girlfriend are going to be down there as well so I apologize if there's any loud, loud cheering or screaming uh, it's just football oh man I lost my train of thought what was I saying uh oh oh it's it's about Ichi it's really easy to just be try and be somebody you're not or really exaggerate your reactions to stuff and so I think that's really his issue is he does have insecurities because he talks about, you know, not being able to talk to real girls in real life. And part of that, the way he words it is to flatter Nina, but also, huh, his hair's grown out. It's an interesting photo. Uh, sorry, I just got back from visiting NorCal. Sorry. Oh, I just got back from visiting NorCal. Sorry, I couldn't call you all week. I missed talking with you but my friend kept me busy you told me to get a pic so here it is warning it's dumb see you online later Blake yeah I think I think that's really the issue is Nina's too willing to emotionally thank you too willing to emotionally commit to an online relationship when you're when the, when you're when you're 
when they're on opposite coasts and they're they're both too willing to just dive right into it even though all they're gonna do is get hurt you know there's no the odds of them meeting up are slim as students because it's expensive the airfare and meeting somebody regardless of how strong a connection you have online it's it's a scary thought to go and meet somebody because you don't know maybe they're not the person they've always put themselves to be because maybe you weren't the whole time either i don't know it's it's just interesting to think about food for thought all right morning what's up not much you really want to do hisi run isn't it like 5 a.m there yeah i've been up for it's chill. Wow. <laughs> Do you ever sleep? Huh. Alright, so I'm gonna go back and read these to you. Uh... You said the other day that you'd think about living on the west coast a lot. Like, near me? Yeah. It would be so cool if you could come hang out with me and my real life friends. Austin and Andrew? Yeah. We could just go chill at the beach or something. Do you think they'd like me? Don't you get along with everyone? <laughs> Maybe. Okay. No, it's not what I wanted to do. <laughs> I was hoping to make them stop so I could stop and read those messages. <laughs> oh, maybe I can pause here. That is really weird looking. Ooh. Okay. Get to that in a second. Okay. Um, so this is the guy that he broke up with his girlfriend because he commented on a picture Nina posted on a forum and commented on her boobs and his girlfriend was not going to put up with that and she broke up with him. I can't say that I blame her, but so this is a conversation. Nina says, Hey, what's up? And Russia says, Rex is pissed at you. Haha. -ha, LOL. I don't know why that's funny. Uh, Nina says, haha, what, why? She's jealous that you never talk to her anymore. You're always with Ichi. Uh, cry face, sad face. I don't know, that kind of feels unfair. Her and I still chat all the time. So this is going to be an interesting conversation. I don't think Rex is his ex. I don't think they'd be talking about that. But it must be one of her other online friends. Guy for guy. Um... I don't recall ever seeing this chat name before. Maybe I have. Sib, stop ignoring me. What's up? I wasn't ignoring you. I was looking at your Facebook. It's kind of weird. Haha, <laughs> why? That would be my question. Sib, Rusher told me he thinks you're cute. <gasps> Gasp. What? Haha. <laughs> I feel like instead of LOL, it should just be nervous laughter because that's pretty much what that is. Um, I know you used to like him a lot. What happened? Yeah, I did a while ago. So what happened? Oh, she already got rejected. So sad. But if he was already with that other girl, that would be why. Ooh! Ooh! Okay, so this is someone she's supposed to be pretty tight with. Uh, yo, I know what's going on with you and- Sorry. I know what's going on with you and Ichi. What are you talking about? Everyone knows. Stop trying to hide it. Knows what? What are you going off about? You two totally fucked. They're on opposite coasts. They talk a lot, and they've talked about doing that. But no. So I wonder if this is going to really screw up her relationship with anybody else online. Like, she's kind of screwing herself up by ignoring them and prioritize only talking to Ichi. But drama. Now everyone thinks that they're hooking up. More sad face. Oh, I guess that's a sad face. But either way, either one's appropriate, right? This is some kind of crazy red mist galaxy thing going on in like Eye of Sauron in the middle. It's really weird looking. So I wonder. Oh, whoa. This is weird. One thing that's kind of nice about this game is the level to which it's story driven makes it so you really can't fail. Which, you know, not that there's... Oh, can I not? 
go in the yellow oh I can't go in the yellow parts that's gonna make this a little more difficult you can't get hurt I don't actually have a health meter but uh, you have to the the le speed with which you clear a level is based on how often you check messages and stuff like that and you have to beat the boss by come on fighting these grunts together because that's what the little question mark over here says attack enemies as a team to lure the boss out so that's the only way to progress and so it forces you to know about the story which is I think pretty cool I like story driven games didn't I already look at this yeah I already oh this is the one that's just now oh no her flight got sold out seriously though what if we met? Whoa. You want to? Yeah. I mean, you told me that you love me. I love you too. I want to meet you in person. Yeah. Sounded a little regretful, Blake. Um, mm, this is when things start to go bad for them, I think. Your friend Kate's really hot. Okay. I'm trying to get better about multitasking, actually playing this game, and checking messages and stuff. I can't tell what shirt that is. So, what do you think? About what? Me then. Oh, I, yeah. I want that. But I also want no relationship whatsoever. I could be single forever, it's comfortable. I... Yeah... Wait, what do you mean? Relationships are... Attempts at living in... Normalcy. I guess so? I'm antisocial, so those normal relationships don't fit my lifestyle. You're the leader of our ampule. How can you be antisocial? I don't know. I just don't think relationships are comfortable. You've never been in one, so how can you know that? I don't like leaving my security zone. I'm less antisocial and more anti connections. Then. How did this happen? That was my dad. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> oh, I. I'm sorry. There's <laughs> my brother. My, his girlfriend must just now be getting here. <laughs> so I know you can hear all the dogs in the background of my dad yelling because of football. So <laughs> I'm really sorry about that. Just faint screaming. No, that's fine. <laughs> Just when I start to like sympathize a little bit with Blake, goes and pulls this. Like, if you're aromantic or asexual, say that up front. Like, I mean, he's not aromantic because he confessed, unless he's just confused, to loving her. But why would you put someone through that if you supposedly love them? If you have zero interest in pursuing anything other than he's just a skeevy person that she met online who gets kicks out of manipulating people and is not emotionally mature enough to handle anything. Ah, my, oh my god. It's so dumb. He, I think he just likes being in control and if he wants a sexual outlet, you know, he can, he can find a something to sate that whether it's you know hooking up at a party or you know whatever whatever means but to torture somebody online who says they love you and is clearly uh, you know not the same kind of person that he is Nina's not the same person personality you know obviously they're not the same person okay let's look at this um so this girl that she's friends with they're trying to figure out why Rusher. Nina said that Rusher rejected her. 
really then why is he trying to get with you now i don't know maybe rejected is a strong word do you still like him i'll always like him in a way but i could never really tell if he was actually into me what is happening over there but i could never really tell if he was actually into me or not wow that sucks yeah okay so that was the only message oh wait did i just never reply oh no okay Sometimes it's hard to tell because it doesn't actually put my last message. It puts their last message. Okay, this is blowing up. Okay, that's the same. That's the same. Oh, she skipped class. Hmm. You told me you <laughs> it looks like me this two folder is been telling me that every day since. How have we been talking on the phone every night? Like, or I don't know. Hence, my confusion. Since when were you confused? I don't know. This is bad. Bad for Nina. I mean, it is bad for Blake, but he's the one who's created all these issues. Urgh. Okay. Um, her and I still- oh really, we barely chat anymore. Well, how's that relevant? Just because she doesn't talk to you anymore. Ooh. Her reply wasn't immediate. Blake. I really care about you. Me too. We should just meet. I think we need to see each other in person. I do want to meet you. This can work. Come on. Now you move. I wish you wouldn't try so hard. It's not worth it. Do you want to like really spend time together? I mean, are we gonna kiss and make out and all that stuff? Do you want to? He already agreed to sex over the phone. I don't. And I'm not saying just because he said that he's obligated to. That's not what I mean. But. People just need to choose. What do you think about? We talked about this before. They need to make wiser decisions you before they start to you yakking about it. Yeah. We met. I probably couldn't help it. I'd want to kiss you. Yeah. And. Whatever stuff. I don't know. <laughs> I get it, Blake. I think the same thing. I should tell you. I've never had sex before. I haven't. Wait, really? Are you serious? I haven't. So we. Uh. I. I told you relationships are weird for me, so I've just never been in the situation. Yeah, I totally get it. It's crazy to me though, because you're like super hot. I'm a skinny ghost, dude. Girls do not want to fuck me. <laughs> I don't know. For him to be as anti relationship, anti connection. Ooh. Oh, at least the teacher liked it, I guess. Um, okay, I guess that's the poem. You guys can pause and read that if you want. It won't. Can well, we could have sex for the first time together. Do you not like that idea? Physically, yes. Mentally, I'm not sure how to deal with that feeling. I think he's asexual. I'm used to immersing myself in this game. I don't like thinking about dealing with people in person. Or he just has an obsessive personality. You want to me. I know, I'd have to figure out how to be how to feel normal about it. I don't know. This guy needs therapy. And I'm not saying that to other. be flippant. <laughs> I'm saying cause it's not just in the game. If he can only connect with people emotionally through a game. I feel comfortable with my relationships inside this game. Because they're not real. I don't know about real life. 
It's okay if you're nervous. I am too. I'm not nervous. I'm just not used to this. It's weird for me that I like you this much. <laughs> I'm really glad you feel that way. That I feel weird. <sighs> that you like me. I told you, Blake. I love you. Okay, so hopefully they're not going to talk for a minute. I know... Lena. This... <sighs> Damn it. <laughs> yeah. I like thinking about you. Far away from whoever. Just us. I really have no idea why I feel like that. But maybe it could happen. I want that. I don't want a relationship, but I want... You. I don't know. Please, let's meet and figure this out. We need to talk face to face. Okay, hopefully they'll shut up. Face -face, huh? <laughs> okay, I'll come. I'll ask my mom to buy a flight to New York. I'll tell her I want to visit my cousins there. Really? You think she'd believe you? Yes. <sighs> okay. Whoa. You can stay with me. I live in a dorm here, so you could just stay, like, here. Okay. So, you really mean it. We're doing this. Yes. I don't know what will happen. I have no expectations. I think it'll be good talking for a long time in the game so it makes sense logically that we should meet he said. <laughs> he's rationalizing I know are you done can I talk now okay so I think the main thing is, if Blake had any level of com confusion beforehand, which his stance doesn't make sense to me because, don't push it. No, oh, I didn't get to reply to that. I was. Mm, I was not good at multitasking this time. I'm sorry. It's gonna go to a real life scene, I think. So, I, not yet. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get what I want to say out, but not yet. Oh, they did. Hmm. I thought I read in that article they never did. So that's really interesting. Or maybe that's what happened in real life to Nina Freeman was the person she was talking to in Final Fantasy was too chicken shit to meet in real life. But yeah, that's crazy because like that's her actual boyfriend. Who'd have thought that the, the game creator and her boyfriend? Ah, oh, I'm gonna make this game and do real life scenes. I wonder if he also voiced the character or if they, if someone voiced it and then they used her boyfriend so that they could do an intimate scene because that's who she's more comfortable with because she's a real person, not an actor. Um, that would explain why there's no audio whenever, or there's no audio here anyways. I don't know. I don't even know if I have to censor this part or not. I'll figure that out later. <laughs> oh, man. This is a little uncomfortable. Oh, okay. okay. Mm -hmm. The music's really dissonant, too. God. <laughs> okay. It's their roommate. They live together, and their roommate is filming this, so... They must all be very close.
Where is it going to go from here? Or is that the end? Oh man, if that's the end, I'd be kind of sad. Oh! I like her skirt. Oh, what? You Do you think we'll ever see each other again? May not. Don't. I had fun, but... I fucked up. What? What do you mean? I shouldn't have come. I knew I shouldn't. Blake. What are you talking about? I don't love you. Oh. What? We can chat. I've got to catch my plane. I'll see you online tomorrow, Nina. I'm sorry. Is that it? First love is a very confusing thing and sometimes it really hurts, but I'm glad I had mine with you, Nina. I just realized I was screaming into the microphone. Ugh! That's that's her boyfriend, Emmett Butler. Is her, if I remember correctly from that article I linked in the uh, the description of the other the second Sybil video. Oh my goodness! Ugh! Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm really frustrated. Let me compose myself. Oh yeah, it was a different voice. I was right. Oh, yes. Okay, so... I'm really frustrated with this. My hand's so close to the camera. I'm really sorry about that. I'm just a mess today. <laughs> Hence the, uh, gross hair. Anyways, um... Special thanks to the folks who let us use their likeness in their photographs. Oh, uh, cool. That's a lot of people. Ha! Ah, that's really cool. Oh, those are her real friends' fan art. <laughs> um, what I liked about this game is it was it felt real because it was real. This happened to this person. Oh yeah, Sylph server in Final Fantasy. Yep. I like this game because it felt really real because it was a real thing that happened to an extent. It was they she changed what happened in real life, what happened here. Um and it was really easy to just dive in and sympathize with however many characters and place yourself into this world that Nina created through the game and because everyone knows someone who's either like this or has gone through this if you haven't yourself so it's frustrating but also so is life life can be frustrating like this sometimes and there are just so many things I could talk about. I could have an entire episode that's like, mm, yes, let's let's recap what happened in this game, but I'm not going to do that to you. The, the main things that were frustrating for me were, from a story perspective, was Blake was such an infuriating character, and Nina kind of was, but I feel like she was a little more sympathetic, and I don't know if that's because this is really from her perspective, or because I've experienced a something similar but not really but you know when I was when I was a teenager like yeah I, I felt like that you know there there were instances where I felt like that and you know I have I think everyone that's you know was born in 1990 or later has at some point experienced a connection to an online person that didn't work out and it's really disappointing for whatever reason um but Nina was was really sympathetic and then there's Blake 
because he was almost sympathetic after I tried to reassess and reevaluate my perspective on him. And then he goes and agrees to meet, knowing that he's, like, screwed up and doesn't know what he really wants out of their relationship. Like, he should have thought long and hard before meeting should have ever happened. Agrees to meet. Meets. They have sex. Sorry, I don't love you anymore. Why would you ever think that's okay? I'm not saying he should lie, put up a charade, and be like, oh no, I do love you. But leave the next day and then be like, oh, I, I made a mistake. We shouldn't have. Like, what? What? No. No. So, I can't think of a. Well, I can think of worse things to do to somebody, but I can't think of many ways to um, better emotionally destroy somebody. Ugh such a terrible thing to have to go through and like yeah he had his problems and if you sympathizing with him does not come as easily and I feel like his actions are more reprehensible but I think the fact that this game can generate that much discussion says a lot about it and I think that makes it really great so tell me what you thought in the comments below tell me who you sympathize with more or if you have a fresh perspective and I've overlooked something go ahead and leave that below I look forward to reading those if you do and let me know about the new camera angle still trying to figure out if I like it or not it's kind of weird when I set up now because I've I've I haven't made a lot of videos with it set up the other way but I've made several and <laughs> that's the way I'm used to seeing it so I might keep it like this I don't know because it was the glare on my glasses that was bothering me. But I'm rambling. So, if you like this video, like it, leave a comment, maybe subscribe if you feel like it, no pressure. And, uh, yeah, I hope to see you in the next one. I'm not sure what game I'm going to play next, but if you have a suggestion, leave that in the comments below too. Oh, man. Um, <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and, I guess, socialize with family downstairs. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. And I hope to see you in the next one. Bye! Okay.